Ukraine is not giving up from its most successful strategies lately, attacks on Russian energy infrastructure. Ukrainian UAVs attacked the Novocherkask power plant overnight, after which a fire broke out. Fifteen explosions were heard. A substation was hit and two power units have reportedly stopped working. Russian Saratov oil refinery was also hit by a Ukrainian drone in the early hours of March 23rd. Drone was suppressed with electronic warfare, but it still fell on the territory, causing a fire in the operator room. 14th oil refinery struck in three weeks. And in Russia, after the attacks in Moscow, Pulkovo airport is deporting migrants en masse, according to Russian telegram channels. The footage allegedly shows the deportation of dozens of foreign specialists, Russian authorities have reportedly arrested three additional suspects for aiding in the Konkur City Hall terrorist attack in Moscow. The 63-year-old Israel Islomov and his two sons for aiding the Moscow attackers. 25-year-old Delover Islomov, a Russian citizen and taxi driver. Aminchan Islomov, a Russian citizen. <laughs> In this video from 2003, Russian propagandist Solovyev, I guess then he could even have been called a journalist, discusses the terrorist attack in Russian Dubrovka being organized by Russian secret services. Russian journalist Anna Politkovskaya, who was later killed by Putin's regime, tells him that. 21 years later, history repeats itself in Russia. представившийся внештатным корреспондентом российской газеты. Также многие сегодня увязывают и убийство депутата Юшенкова с тем, что он знал о том, что действительно теракт на Дубровке, скорее всего, обошелся не без участия российских спецслужб. Анна, как вы вышли на господина Теркибая? Ну, это был долгий процесс борьбы с самой собой. Значит, очень многие, ну да, так вот просто получилось. Мне очень многие спрашивали и говорили, и в редакции это была дискуссия. Там участвовали спецслужбы. А я говорю, не может быть такой подставы. Просто не может быть. Я тогда, я тогда не могу происходит. жить, да? Конечно. Я не могу жить вот среди этой жизни. Но потом стали постепенно, наверное, где-то месяца два назад поступать. Разрушенные сигналы, да, вот какие-то, вот знаешь, вот, вот тот-то мог быть, потом тот-то, потом э, один знакомый просто назвал мне эту фамилию. ISIS announces new terrorist attacks, including terrorist attacks against Putin. The text notes that the terrorists, as a sign of protest against torture and interrogation of members of the organization, are organizing another terrorist attack in the Russian Federation. According to Telegram channels, ISIS has announced several more jihads in Russia for torturing their followers, cutting off an ear and beating them until an eye falls out. Operational situation in the Kremina direction, heavy fighting near Terni continues. Enemy assaults continue in the Kremina direction. The enemy doesn't take into account the loss of personnel. During a month of active fighting, thanks to the actions of the battalion tactical group formed by the Azov Brigade, only according to confirmed data, the enemy lost. 356 killed, 602 wounded, 3 prisoners, 9 tanks, 18 infantry fighting vehicles, 5 armored personnel carriers, 6 artillery systems, 2 units of special equipment, 1 mortar, two UAVs, large number of communication systems, electronic warfare equipment, and auxiliary equipment. All possible methods of defeat are used in repelling enemy attacks. The most effective are FPV drones, attack drones with drops, and artillery. 
They accounted for killed and wounded occupiers, destroyed and damaged enemy equipment. Azov, together with related units, continues to hold the defense in one of the most difficult directions. Destruction of a house with Russian UAV operators by a GLSDB guided bomb in the Kherson region. The Russian T-80 tank disintegrates into molecules. Its turret flew into orbit. It will take years to restore Dnipro plant, said the CEO of Ukridroenergo. Russian acts of terror on Ukraine are unbelievable. We already understand that Dnipro HPP is going to be out of service for a long time. While we cannot yet detail and understand what and how much, but we already understand that it will take years for the plant to be restored to the state it was before the missile strike, said Ihor Sirota, CEO of PJSC Ukridro Energo. According to him, it is impossible to dismantle all the debris at the station for the time being, as both the ceiling and the walls with crane beams leaned on the engine room. It is necessary to dismantle the upper part of the turbine hall to reach the lower part. As he noted, the situation at the Dnipro Dam is controlled, and there is no threat of a breach. The dam itself has not been damaged to date. Only the crane beams on the dam and the bridge crossing are damaged, Sirota said. and some military porn for the end. Nurbe is an Indian subsonic cruise missile with a range of 1,000 kilometers. This video shows an Indian Air Force Jaguar fighter jet chasing a Nurbe missile during the cruise phase. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.